Now, do not underestimate the size of the Airbus A350. It is quite a large airplane, but something else you shouldn't underestimate is its immense stopping power, as it turns out. Just have a close look at the wing. We're right now in a stopping configuration. The speed brakes, the spoilers are out. But not only that, this plane also puts the ailerons both of those surfaces up as a another drag source to stop the airplane and that is something i've never seen before on planes indeed like in real life as a pilot you learn to pull up the stick slightly in order to have those elevators also act as a spoiler surface but i've never seen the aileron being used to stop very impressive and that also means that the a350 series stops in no time here we have a reddit video here the a350 showcasing its short fuel landing performance and this is from Airbus. This is probably a test landing where they really tried max braking. Here we see touching down, going full power into the stopping. And it is insane how the airplane manages to stop in this frame within like 10 seconds. There we go. That was crazy. You can see, yes, the brakes are smoking hot. And this is a very unrealistic landing because no airline would torture their brakes that much. You would have to replace them. But look at the immense stopping performance of the Airbus A350 indeed. It's time to put that to a test now. We're here at Le Mole Airport. We're also going to test the, you know, takeoff performance. Maybe to make this fun, we're going to, you know, put the weight configuration quite low. 18% of fuel. This airplane is now fully empty, so we're really trying... What could the A350 do? And let me tell you, it is really a lot. Now, you know, some people doubt whether the Microsoft Flight Simulator is, you know, realistic or not because these airplanes tend to use very short runways. But look at this acceleration. Of course, as you can see now, the ailerons are back to the idle position and we've already reached 100 knots and we can already take off. Yes, I know we are using very minimal weight, but this is very impressive regardless. And yes, while the airplane needs 8,500 feet of runway, 2,600 meters of runway under maximum takeoff weight, which is quite a lot, the 767-400 apparently needs 10,200 feet of runway under maximum takeoff weight for a very heavy airplane. With the 787 kind of having the same limitations, even with the 800 variant. So it appears the A350 is quite potent. So let's go ahead and test it. I mean, here we were able to stop. Up. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do something crazy already. It's true, there just isn't any better place to test an airplane like this than at St. Marathelemy with its 2,000 foot long runway, 600 meters. Mind you, we're now talking about the big 1,000 variant of the A350 that we're going to put to a test. I know we're doing a bit of a tail strike here, but that allows us to do a static takeoff. Put in the brakes, which there are a lot of. I mean, look at those three landing gears and release brakes as soon as the engines go full power. And you can now accelerate. Let's do it. Full power indeed. Look at the acceleration here. When the airplane is empty, Empty. We have no trouble operating anywhere, really. Look at this. 120 knots. Look at that. Easy takeoff. No trouble. The airplane actually kind of takes off on its own here. I'm pretty sure this plane will be able to fly anywhere, honestly. Especially when there's not lots of fuel or not lots of people on board. Let's try to do our first landing now, finally. And I think we have a bit of freedom right here just to land beautifully. We don't have to put it down and try to lose all kinetic energy through our touchdown. Considering what I saw there on that landing, we should be able to stop without any effort, really. Really? Okay, here we go. We are now at a very low speed as well. 120 knots. No trouble at all for this airplane. Let's go ahead and put her down nicely, actually. We have kind of the freedom to do that. That was a bit of a firm look. Okay, that was quite firm. Now, let's put out the reverse thrust a little bit late. No worries. Pulling up the elevators all the way. And we are genuinely stopping, just like in real life, in no time whatsoever. And somehow, I don't even doubt the realism here. What I like to see here, though, is the brakes that are kind of smoking hot. Um, we can see that here brakes hot perhaps we shall turn on the brakes fan but this is really cool stopping in no time whatsoever and we didn't even have to crash this airplane and i even trust this airplane at high altitude airports welcome to alp de Huez, which is one of those crazy french alti ports here in the alpine mountains but with an even shorter runway i think it's like 1400 feet or something let's see if this plane is able to take off as well as, as it lands really so here we are full power once again we're playing it cool here with the weight now, 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 and release brakes as soon as we've reached full power. Yes, brakes released. Perfect. Time for you to get going, airplane. We should be able to make it. Now, yes, we are very slowly getting speed here. We are crashing into trees. That is kind of the main problem here now. And even at a high altitude airport like this, okay, we did kind of overrun into the grass. And we're trying to make sure not to cut into those 
uh, power lines, which are very poorly placed considering there's an airport here. Let's ignore that. We've been able to take out without any trouble at all. Let's see if the landing works the same. Like, I am awfully impressed with this, honestly. Now, high altitude airports are a bit of a challenge always. Look, I mean, we're moving at a ground speed of 172 knots. We're a lot faster, simply because the air is quite a lot thinner up here. You're fine. You're absolutely fine. Let's put her down nicely, a little slower. You're okay. You're just fine. All right, that was a bit hard. No worries, though. Let's go and stop. Full power. Max braking, max reverse, max reverse, max reverse, max reverse, max reverse. Okay, we've overrun a slight bit because I've put out the reverse thrust a little bit late there. But, you know, this was still incredible, to be honest. And brakes are fire. Now, of course, same say about this. is no way it's going to work. Like, I know we figured out why this airplane lands so quickly, stops so quickly. I don't know about takeoff, though. It's kind of like magic, really, there. But this just may not work. Uh, come on. Full power, full flaps. This would be insane. Like, I would start to cry if this were to work out. And look at that. We're reaching actual proper speed here. No way. That was actually a very doable takeoff. I'm immensely impressed. By the way, we are flying without any operative winds right now, which are helping us take off or land. This is just the raw performance of the A350, which is insane. Shh, you're okay. You're just fine. There's the shortest runway in the world. Shh, no worries, you can do it. Put her down a bit hard now. Okay, there you go. Max break, max break, max break, max break, max reverse, max reverse. Okay, that was a bit hard. It's time to stop now. Yeah, yeah, do that now. Why, why is reverse thrust not working? God damn it! No, 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 no! Okay, now it's good. Now we're looking good. Now it's looking good. Now it's looking actually very good. No. Okay, I can't really do it there. That hasn't really worked. Although I do have to say, why did the spoilers not come out? Hmm, that's kind of weird. Okay, I'm not able to land at the shortest, but that would have been absolutely ridiculous, and I would have definitely doubted this plane's realism. Yeah, that's not really worked. So, so everybody, as big as the A350 is, it's very good at stopping. I would have loved to test this airplane at a bit of a higher weight configuration, but for some reason that is completely broken. I'm unable to set weights here. Um, that's just impossible. So it's way empty airplane all the way. So for thank you guys so much for watching this very fast breaking video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters, <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Duram, that dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishitsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.